All right, kind of excited. This is the Pop-Tarts Mr. E flavor. So they don't tell you what it is. Uh, I did one of these once with my family. We did the um, Oreo mystery flavor, which turned out to be churro, I think, chocolate churro. Uh, we were all wrong. We mostly guessed Teddy Graham or some sort of graham cracker thing. There is a scan code on here to unlock the mystery, which I think leads you to more clues. Let's see what the, ah, scan, solve, and enter. Scan the mystery glasses. You have until August 31st, 2021. Solve the mystery, collect clues from the site and toaster pastries, and enter for a chance to win crazy good prizes by sub submitting your flavor guess at kfr.com slash PT mystery flavor. See bottom for official rules. I always love this kind of stuff. Uh, I remember the very earliest of these was the Doritos X10 or X13 flavor, which turned out to be American cheeseburger. Let's see what we got. Ooh. So I'm guessing the intent here is that that is a clue. So this one has a, what I think is a monocle, and this one has a mustache. Immediately, these make me think Monopoly. I'm not sure how that would be a flavor. The only other one I can think of would be Mr. Peanut. I don't think he has a mustache, does he? The outside, the outside doesn't smell like anything particularly interesting. Ah, so it's a white cream on the inside here. Let's see what we got. Wow. That is really strange. It, it almost tastes like something that shouldn't be sweet, that is intended to be savory. I'll be honest, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Unfortunately, I'm using my phone to record so I, I can scan the QR code and come back with you in a minute and we can see if there are any clues available because this flavor is I almost swear I taste what would be more savory spices, like maybe some garlic or onion. I don't know. It's really weird. Yeah, they've made this one very unusual. And you can kind of smell that too in the pastry. It's also got a very different texture than most Pop-Tarts. Wow. I'm really stumped on this one. Let's check that QR code and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I followed the instructions. I logged on. You have to create an account and you get to make a guess and you get a clue. The clue I got said uh, two halves make a hole, but there's still a hole in it or something like that. I don't remember the exact clue. It actually took a while to do. It didn't work on my phone. You have to scan the QR code to get it to work. So I had to use another device. Uh, so the site may be a little flaky depending on your device. When you do that, there's this little virtual or yeah, virtual reality thing where the guy walks around and uh, gives you a clue. And that was my clue, something about two halves make a hole. Which, if you remember, I said I tasted maybe garlic or onion. So my guess, which you then get to enter, it was uh, the everything bagel flavor. The other thing I noticed was that the aftertaste becomes pretty horrible. All in all, these things are, as a flavor goes, they're horrible. Uh, they're, they're virtually inedible and the aftertaste makes them not worth it at all. But it's fun to play a game. I can see why they uh, didn't just market them as whatever flavor they were. There you have it. You guys pick up a box, take a guess. These things are always fun, uh, no matter how bad they are. There you have it. Like and subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. And if there's anything you want me to try so you don't have to, just let me know.